Well, that was weird. <laughs> I just set my own alarm off. <laughs> that was really weird. Oh, fuck's sake. I don't know if it's me or not. I can't tell if that's me or not. <sighs> I cannot tell. What the fuck? I have absolutely no idea if that's me. So weird. Somehow, I was setting off the other bike's alarm. That was really weird. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I don't have an alarm. <laughs> was really really weird I don't know how I was setting it off and how it was then how it was when I cut it off it was gone like I don't know if it was the vibration in the ground like you know sometimes on ferries you get um like you get car alarms going off I guess it was something how somehow like that but that was really, really strange. I've never had anything like that, and I've been parked right next to, you know, right next to other bikes, and I've had nothing like that. That was really weird. Well, that's the first time that's happened. Somehow, a crappy, tiny little 50cc engine set off an alarm. Like, I didn't even think that was possible. I really didn't. Normally, sometimes when you're like in a car park and you've got a massive, say, a, a big American muscle car, you know, with a massive engine sort of thing, when you turn it on and like rev, it might set off a, uh, some other alarms. So, how the hell a 50cc scooter managed to do that, I have absolutely no idea. Weird. That was also really embarrassing because. Well, it was embarrassing anyway, but I mean, my teacher from college, you know, I thought Friday was the last time I was going to see you, Abner. So yeah, that's nice to at least see him. I don't think he recognised me, because I don't think he knew I worked there. But I recognised him. Uh, so yeah. It was nice to see him again, actually. It's really weird seeing your teachers outside of, like, school or college. Ah oh, man, just had to put my foot down. Fuck you. Fucking knob jockey. But yeah, on his bike, he had a uh, fast, he was obviously a Fast and Furious fan, or had done something with Fast and Furious. And, and on the middle of his bike, he had a thing to Paul Walker saying, if I drive too fast to die, at least I was smiling, or something like that, and then R.I.P. Paul Walker, 19-something to 2013. I can't believe that was almost a year ago since he died, like, that's... a shocking. There's something in my eye. Something in my left eye. No, buddy. No, dickhead. No, buddy. No, dickhead. See, that's what I mean. 
you just end up staring at each other. You can see each other's eyes. You can see right in their eyes. Like, if they don't mic it on, I will fucking stare you down. <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure it's not legal. Hey. <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> Did he even have a helmet on? I think he just had a hat on. Like, I, I don't know if I'm being blind or something. But I'm pretty sure he just had a hat on. Big American moustache or something, like... Uh, if I was a coffer... To be honest, he probably has enough horsepower to actually bomb it and be gone by the time I manage to do a U-turn. Jeez, living life on the edge, that's what you call it. Because I had the separate oil thing and four strokes. Uh, whoa, fucking hell. Whee! I can't see shit now! Fucking hell, I can't see shit! Jesus Christ! Fucking hell, mate! You just, look at that! Fucking hell! Yeah, I, d I think you do have a bit of a problem, mate. Fucking hell. Go at work when do uh, she, she said something. She was about claustrophobia and that. And she went, and I was like, look at her, I was like, oh, okay. And she went, yeah, don't judge me, I'm weird. But trust me, you think you're weird? Just live with me for a week. You will then know what weird... Actually, no, don't live with me. Just watch this video. Because, <laughs> trust me, you will then know what weird really is.